G'day. This morning I thought I'd talk about how much it costs to run a boat like this. Um, I've just headed out this morning by myself. The sun's sort of just coming up. But after an episode yesterday, I went to the petrol station and um, put about $200 worth of fuel in this boat. And um, earlier on this week, I picked it up from a service. I thought people would be interested to find out just sort of how much a boat like this costs to run in a year. Um, it's all right to purchase the boat and think, sweet, I've bought my boat and that's all, it's all good and um, let's get into it. But there's also the running cost per year as well. So I'm gonna have a bit of a chat about that. But to start off with, I'm gonna get a couple of baits in the water. Um, I'm hoping to see if I can get myself King George Whiting. So I'll get set up and then we'll have a bit of a chat once I get, get a few lines in the water. So I've been keeping track since I bought this boat, um, mostly for tax reasons of how much I've been spending. So I'll start with bait. Um, like I mentioned before, I'm just using a bit of squid for bait here. So last year, I've written it all down because I've got a memory like a sieve. Um, probably abused it a bit too much when I was younger. Oh, I'm in over here, hang on a second. I've got a fish on. Again, nah. Take that back. Had a few bites. Um, yeah, I think I abused my brain a little bit too much when I was younger, but you know, we're all young ones. So I've kept track of my um, spending over the last year for tax reasons. So this pretty much is um, a tax year, I guess. So spending on bait, all up on bait, I've spent $380 myself. Um, $380, it's, it's, it's quite a bit really when you think about for dead fish, but I spent 380 bucks on bait in a year. But when you add to that what Jack brings, um, every time Jack comes along with me, he brings um, handfuls of bait with him as well and bags of bait for Burley. So I'd say you probably double that. Let's call it $700 for bait in a year. Um, easily $700 worth of bait. Um, sometimes we fish with lures and soft plastics, but we've always got bait with us. And um, yeah, so there you go, grand total of about, probably between myself and Jack in a year, $700. Well, that didn't take long. That was the first drop I've got something on. I don't know what it is. Something, it's a fish, I guess, that's the start. Oh, it's having a go. So my goal today is to just, oh, I'd love to get a King George whiting, but even a handful of small whiting would be nice, just to, um, stock up the bait freezer the snapper season's about to open up soon so some nice whiting in the freezer would be nice for bait it's got a little bit of go whatever it is i don't know it's not a standard sand whiting i wouldn't have thought what do we got oh it's a little pinky it's a little pink snapper little guy there you go so i'm just fishing this tiny little bait it's a, um, I don't even know what you call it. It's basically just a big ball sinker for a head and these tiny little hooks at the... Um, so you, nobody thinks I'm fishing for snapper or fish. Have a look at the size of these hooks. They're very small. I'm just putting on a little bit of squid. Um, a little strip, a little strip of squid on the end here and dropping it down. My goal is whiting. I'm not fishing for demersals if anyone starts. So in a year, the fuel for this boat, I use $3,800 worth of fuel in a year. Um, moving to this boat, it's, it's really economical, but as soon as we got a bigger boat, we couldn't help ourselves. We started doing longer journeys, we started going further, so we burned through a bit of fuel. So $3,800 worth of fuel in a year. Um, I just filled it up yesterday. I put 100 and something liters in it, cost me 200 bucks worth of fuel. Um, that's just the cost of cost of running a boat like this. It's not a big boat, but it's not a small boat either. And like I said, it's pretty economical, this engine, but if you're gonna start running around and doing distance, that's what you're up for. Oh, here we go. All right, hook something else. What do we got this time? Oh, this is big and heavy. This is not a King George.
the fuck? It's an octopus. Is it an octopus or a cuddly? Oh, it's a big, dirty cuddly. That's oh, a rat, and then a cuddly on top. Huh. There you go. So I caught this wrasse and old mate cuttlefish came after him. I'm not bringing that cuttlefish on board. Last time I brought one of those on board, the amount of ink all over my boat, it took me bloody weeks to clean it. We thought it was a good idea and we'll use him for bait and whatever else. Not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. There was ink everywhere. Okay, change plans. All I'm getting is the who's who of the wrasse kingdom off the bottom here today. Um, not what I really came here for. I'm on the wrong ground and um, I really can't be bothered looking for the right stuff. So I've tied on a few lures. Got a little Helco Trembler on this one here. And on this side here, I've got a little Christmas tree skirt that I caught the tuna on the other day. Oh, there it is in the sun. The Christmas tree skirt. So the plan is I'm going to pull the anchor up and start trolling back towards home and see if I can't pick myself up a tuna. Before I do that, let me talk about insurance. Insurance for this boat I think cost me $1,050 per year. So there's insurance, $1,050 per year for this boat. Um, obviously depending on the price of your boat, size of your boat and a lot of other factors would depend on how much your insurance is. But mine's with Club Marine and it's $1,050 a year. Lures are out and we're trolling. So like I said before, I actually picked this boat up this week. I had it in for a service. So uh, that was my 200 hour service and the, the 200 hour service cost $1,300 so $1,300 for a 200 hour service. Um, I'm not sure what they do for that, change the oil, change the impeller, check things over but there you go $1,300 for a 200 hour service so I'm doing you know over 100 hours a year. Whoa, what was that? thought one of my lures went off for a second there. I'm doing over 100 hours a year, so it soon adds up when you gotta get your servicing done a couple of times a year. But that's fishing, you gotta do what you gotta do. So last year, I don't spend a lot of money on tackle to be fair. Um, I've pretty much narrowed down what I use and what I don't use after, over the years. These birds, see these mutton birds behind me, they're all following me. I keep diving on my lures, I, I hear them go off and I keep thinking I've got a fish on. Stupid birds, oh, I suppose if the birds sing it looks like a bait fish, hopefully the fish do too. I've narrowed down my tackle to uh, the bare minimum basically. I use hooks, basically I just buy hooks. Hooks and bait, so last year I spent $1,200 on tackle. Including, included in that was one fishing rod and one fishing reel. I bought my Saltus reel, the one over there. And a rod in that as well. But yeah, twelve hundred dollars. Basically, the all I spent on tackle was a, a couple of packets of hooks, seven o hooks. Um, I'm lucky enough that I get a bit of stuff given to me. Um, shout out to Snap Bait Tackle, Berserker Tackle, and um, numerous others that send me out a bit of stuff throughout the year. So when it comes to lures and so forth, um, the Brolis Tackle hooked me up with some soft plastics. Um, when it comes to lures, I've pretty much got all that covered. I've got bags and bags of that stuff in my in the front of the boat here, so I don't really buy that. All I really buy is hooks. The odd reel, maybe once a year I'll buy myself a new reel, but I don't really spend a huge amount on tackle. So $1,200 was my bill for tackle this last financial year. Um, I've got a couple of purchases coming up. I'm, I'm thinking of buying a heavier outfit, so I'm sure that um, my next financial year will probably be over the top of that again, but I don't know, 1200 bucks I think is pretty light on for tackle. Maybe I should up the spending a little bit. I'll have to talk to the Minister of Finance about that. So apart from um, my fuel, my bait, my tackle, insurance, servicing, I mean there's always little odds and sods that you're buying for the boat. I don't know, a clip here, a little piece of rope there, a um, fender here and there. So I've spent about $800 on bits and pieces for the boat. Um, to be fair, this was a brand new boat last year, so there was a lot of little bit, bits and pieces that I needed to um, buy, or just small adjustments that I wanted to make to suit it to myself. So little bits and pieces, I spent about $800 last year on bits and pieces. 
apart from that, I mean, I'm sure there's other stuff I buy. I buy coffees when I come out fishing. I bring out muesli bars and I buy bottles of water to stick in the front of the boat, but that's kind of all. I don't really count that as being. Oh, hang on a minute, what's going on here? Oh, I've got a bird. Stupid bird. Why is it much bird? Why must you be? Stupid bird. Sort of must have flown through my line and uh, luckily the line only just sort of wrapped around his wing. He didn't get a hook in him so that was an easy one. I just jiggled it a few times and it came straight off. So I'm just going to keep trolling. I'm out here in 30 metres at the moment but I'm trolling over here. There's an old wreck. The wreck of a barge that's been out here for years and years. And um, the bait fish tends to hold up on there. So the Samson fish just quietly but it tends to hold the bait fish and um, it's generally not a bad spot to troll around for some tuna and stuff. So. I'll head over towards that and see what we can come up with. Yeah, it's showing a little bit of bait. It's like a couple of fish down there, down low on the water column. There's already a boat sitting over here, I don't know if you can see through the screen. There's already a boat over there, looks like they're jigging. There's a lot of Samson fish get caught around here, so they're probably jigging for Samsons. Got a double hook up. What's that about? <laughs> Do you want to grab that one? <laughs> double hook up here. Obviously, he's came through a school or something. What do we got here? Sweet little little tuna. If I'm not mistaken, that is Maddie's out fishing over there. <laughs> Oh, that little tuna here is going to be absolute dynamite bait for snap in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> How you going? Yeah, Getting any sambos? No, we're just trying this rack now. See if we can get one up. Seems like there's a few Seems like there's a few tuna around. <laughs> yeah, right, we had a on the way out. Right? Only just there, as soon as I hooked them was right there, first ones this morning. Yeah, right. Must be hanging around. Yeah, are they all stacked up on the wreck, are they? Yeah, yeah. Oh sick. What a sweet little fish. A little skipjack tuna. He'll make a great snapper bait. I'm gonna whack him straight on ice. I'll just do another pass over the wreck here, see if I can't get another couple. I'm not gonna crowd these guys because they're trying to jig the wreck, so I'll give them some space. I'll... You can see there was a bit of bait holding in the area and then kaboom, straight on. As soon as you find the bait, you find the fish. It's that simple. I'm not gonna crowd these guys. They're trying to jig the wreck. See him over there. Young Maddie's out fishing. I'll put a link up down below to uh, check out her stuff. Very keen a young lady who is as keen as anyone I've seen. Check her out. So if the little jelly beans are there, I'm sure the bigger ones are around as well. So I'll have another few laps around here. See if I can't troll another one. See if I can troll a big one up. I know it's pretty common for the um, bigger yellow tuna to hang around out here as well. I've actually caught a few out here in the years gone by. But I'm actually happy with that little yellow fin, with that little one. Oh, here we go again. There's another, some more showings on the sound down there, down low. Well, here we go again. 
think we got doubles again here. That other one, yeah, the other one's in too. Wow. So when you go over the school, they really want it. Double or nothing. Oh, here we go. This one's getting a little angry. Oh, I think he just got off this one. Oh no, he's still there, he's still there. Okay, where is he? Is he over the top of that one? Yeah. Let's go. Jelly beans. Yeah, this one's off, I think. So there you have it. I spend in a rough calculation, probably about $7,000 a year to keep this boat on the water. Um, for me, I can justify it, no worries, because I use the hell out of this boat and I get a hell of a lot of hours on the water, so my costs are probably going to be a bit more than the average bloke who doesn't use their boat quite as much as me. But for me, this is what I do. I don't care, I'll spend it. I'd spend twice that if I had to, because this is what I like to do. I just love being out in the ocean. Have a look at it. Rough, calm, storms, sunny, raining, I don't care. I just love being out here. I love the energy I'll get from the ocean and I'll still be out here. If you like my videos, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next episode where hopefully coming up soon we'll be able to put those tuna to good use as bait and um, start catching some decent eating fish. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.